for dealerships, what you what do you think are some of the most vital lessons that need to be learned? You know, right now during this time, Ben, I'll start with you. I think one of the obvious ones is that dealers just need to learn how to be a bit more flexible than they have been in the past. Um, you know, when people are asking for new ways to buy a car, uh, dealers just need to be able to learn how to how to accommodate those consumers. So um, things like you know remote test drives or at home test drives, vehicle deliveries, you know sanitizing vehicle services, that kind of thing. It's it's a new way of doing things and. I think um, with COVID nineteen, it's it's been kind of the catalyst to uh, to force dealers to figure out how to change and adapt so that um, they can continue serving customers that don't necessarily, you know, have the ability or want to come into the dealership to do business. That's a great point. I'm with you. I mean, I think if you know, definitely that has to be up there in the top three lessons that you know, every dealer needs to learn is that, you know, moving forward, the customer needs to be more at the Mm -hmm. core of our, both our sales and service process. I mean, guys, let's, let's admit it as an industry, we've developed out sales and service processes that are good for us as a business. Um, now, you know, with the customer's expectations and, and, increasing so high, we, we have to put the customer at the center of all those processes. Uh, Daniel, for yourself, I mean, what lessons, you know, do you think that dealerships really have to take the time to learn right now during this time period? Yeah, I, I think, you know, with, with things going, uh, you know, digital, a lot of the times I, one second, with things, can you guys hear me? Sorry. Um, with things going uh, digital, I think a lot of the times, um, we're realizing that digital marketing is actually playing a much bigger role in a lot of dealerships uh, lives. I mean, traditional marketing is almost non-existent right now. And uh, it, it, you know, the, if you're giving somebody $20,000 a month and say, Hey, go to town and, and get me the best results. That's not going to fly anymore for, for dealerships. Um, I think uh, the, the, the clients that we've worked with, uh, we've always kind of, uh, asked for this, Hey, here's the thing, right? Like we're, we're kind of an extension of, of, of your team in a sense that if your salespeople are, or you have business objectives to meet, uh, whether it's, uh, move more used cars, or you got a bunch of, uh, 2019 F F-150s, uh, that you need to move or whatever it may be service, uh, because you don't have your sales department open. If you're not properly communicating that to your, uh, digital marketing partners, whoever that may be in terms of how to allocate the budget and things like that. And having a strategy discussion, not once a month after the whole thing's been over, but looking at it almost on a weekly basis and, and giving directions and creating that coordination between marketing and sales is almost non-existent in the automotive space. Uh, we've built some technologies to, to integrate the CRM and the inventory that, that the dealership has and trying to figure out you know, if they have too much of this car and automatically increasing budget and things like that. But there are so many things that just kind of get lost in translation. And and some of the things that we're working on is a lot giving dealerships tools to actually make those changes fast, right? Even without requiring us to be there. I think that's kind of what um, everyone needs to kind of walk away from is that, man, we have, I have to be so much more nimble, especially in digital marketing and be so much more targeted and explicit than just throwing a, a lump sum, sum of cash and then hoping for best results. 